thank you for joining me for this Doom 3 playthrough. We're on part 11 today. I want to thank you for joining me once again. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh, we're going to start off with a nice, uh, beautiful rocket launcher. And I think we do have a PDA here that opens up this cabinet, if I'm not mistaken. Our fake Russian guy. Uh, yeah, there it is. 483. 483. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay, good beginning. Famous last words. Can we open this? Nope. Nope. Yeah, and I really do appreciate everybody joining me. I mean, a few people have stuck with me since, ooh, since the beginning, so that's kind of nice, and I do appreciate that. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough and the commentary. I think a lot of us uh, played through this game many, many years ago, so it's kind of, kind of fun to revisit it again. And, uh, you know, for me it's nice because I'm working in the editor and, you know, kind of familiarizing myself with the gameplay and the characters and everything else. And it kind of goes together nicely. It dovetails together. Uh, you know, we play a little bit and then we add a little bit and it kind of, you know, uh, it creates a little bit of an experience altogether. So I think that's kind of nice. You will what do we got? Uh-oh. 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 Okay, we got this guy. Give him the rocket. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's dodge those things and give him another rocket. And I missed them. I missed them. Oh, got him with the shotgun. Nice. Okay, something else is coming. Oh, 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 skull things. Okay, I think I'm gonna run. No, I'm good. Okay, let's get some distance here. Because I don't want to be a uh, cluster, you know what. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Okay, we're good. Okay, yeah, and it's been kind of fun going through the whole game again. I mean, it was many, many years since I picked it up, so it was kind of fun revisiting it again. And again, you know, if you want to be a good level editor, you really got to know the game. So I thought it made sense to do kind of a playthrough uh, for people that want to kind of refamiliarize themselves with the game again. And then, of course, you know, go into the editor and we see things we like that we like to build and this, that, and the other. So it kind of fits together nice. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Look at this. And I'm totally stuck. Okay, what's going on? Oh, jeez, that jumping attack. Sometimes you just can't get away from it. Oh, boy. Like that time. Okay, no more jumping attack. I'm going to start hiding around the corner. Ooh. Oh, gosh, this guy again. Okay, we got some cover, though, this time. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad. See, I'm starting to get into the habit of checking my six because for some reason, again, some, some level designer got involved late in the game here that said, oh, it'll be fun to spawn monsters behind the guy. So I'm constantly checking my six here. Oh, gosh, I hear that revenant thing. I'm going to get my grenade standing by here. There he is. Okay, let's give him that. No, oh, we got him. Nice. Okay, nice with the grenade. Okay, so what do we got here? We're going to go to our machine gun because we have lots of ammo. Nothing over here. Anything over there? Nope. All right, what do we got? Okay, just a little limp. Kind of scared us a little bit there, but... Okay, and speaking of the editor, we did post another video. This time what we did was we built a klaxon. I keep seeing those in levels and I kept promising to build one. I remember way back in the day when I first played Doom, I wanted to build one. And I never did, well actually, I, I think I remember I built one, but I never put it in my level. So, I thought it'd be nice to build one. Uh, the video's a little longer than I would have liked. But the thing is, like, usually, you, okay, you build a klaxon, that's one thing, but it, it involves, like, rotators, it involves a focus light, it involves, what else, uh, particles. So all those parts were included in that. So it's kind of, a, you know, an all-in-one video where you're like, ooh, I learned a bunch of things. Ooh, talk about close quarters. It spawns right in our face. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, so again, the video is a little long just for a klaxon, but we do learn a bunch of lessons through it, so... Okay, what do we got here? Okay, I'm gonna give these guys this. Let's see if they like that. And let's go back to the shotgun. Where am I? Oh, kind of lost uh, lost my way there. Oh, another guy. Okay, we'll give him a grenade too. Let's wait till he comes around that corner. Take that. Okay, we got him. Oh, not doing so great on health. 
Okay, right, so Klaxon, and uh, so the video's up, so if you do want to put Klaxon in, in your levels, go ahead, check out that video, now you know how to do them, and if you're not familiar with particles and uh, and um, what else we got, uh, focused lights, that's in that uh, tutorial as well, so check that out, and it turned out quite good, I was quite happy with it. Okay, what do we got here? I'm going to save. Now, this whole klaxon controversy, that's another thing. Like, the, the word is actually klaxon, so K-L-A-X-O-N, but throughout the video I kept calling it klaxton. I don't know why, but I kind of got it stuck in my head, klaxton. But I did put a disclaimer in the video, so hopefully that kind of makes up for that ignorance. Okay, what do we got here? Is this, no, this is not, can't get in here. Oh, oh, look at this. Beautiful. We need that. Oh, gobble, gobble, gobble. Okay, what do we got? All right, I think I know where we gotta go when we were in here before, and it was frightening. Okay, we're gonna go there. I'm gonna get this here thing fired up. Ooh. Okay, well, I don't want to waste plasma on an imp. Okay, I'll always check the six. Okay, what do we got? Oh. Okay, I definitely don't want to waste plasma on those things. Just one of them? Oh, there's one of them. Skull things. I like those skull things because um, they're, they're good for target practice. Well, as long as you got distance, you're fine. Okay, I, just in case I need to run out of here. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, I've got that guy there. I'm gonna try to catch him with a barrel. Okay, come on. Well, I got that guy with a barrel, but I did not get him with a barrel. Okay, let's back up a little bit, get an egress here. Did we get him? No, not yet. Okay, there we go. Oh, that guy's no slouch. His rockets are... They don't cause tons of damage, but they're kind of semi-guided, so you got to be careful. Best thing to do is to get something between you and him, and then you can always hide. So, okay, what do we got? Oh, I see health there. Nice. Okay, so... Okay, now, getting back to this klaxon, we're going to get a little bit technical here. Technically, what a klax klaxon actually is... It's just the sound. It's it's not the light. Like when you see a an ambulance or a police car or something like that, and people say, "Oh, it's siren is on," the siren is actually the sound. The light part of it is actually called the beacon. So although it calls it a klaxon in the game, a klaxon is only the sound component. So it's kind of erroneously named. And you know, I did make a mistake with calling it what I did, but the point of life is, look, we all make mistakes. It's how we deal with it, and as long as we learn from it, right? And I will ever, forever go to my grave knowing that that thing is called a klaxon. So now that I've got your interest peaked, I'm sure you're all going to go to uh, go to Google and find out what a klaxon is. So there it is. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, well, I'm going to go to my machine gun. Oh. Okay, you know what we're going to get hit this guy with? We're going to hit this guy with the chainsaw. Oh, he managed to get us, though. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's a bit of a stretch on the keyboard to uh, select the chainsaw, so I got a little bit distracted there. Okay, now you know what? Uh, okay, I kind of remembered this part, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. Okay, there he is. Okay, we're gonna hit that guy with that. And a bunch of them come out there for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, something's behind us! Yep. Yep, something behind. We didn't check our six. Okay, there we go. Okay, is anything good here? Okay, we're good. Okay, we're all topped up. Okay, so this thing, we activated the DCL processing. I have no idea what that stands for. I guess that lets us go in there. Is there anything in here? Oh, no. The little imp orgy fell out of. It's like an imp spawning station or something. Okay, good. All right, let's save and let's crack on. And see, this this kind of level design, this is classic, right? Where you kind of go through a level and then you come back out again. And you don't want to go nuts doing that as a level designer, but it really does save a lot of time. 
And they were kind of clever the way they did it in Mars City because Mars City starts off kind of looking like a nice city, you know, like a nice uh, city or whatever. And then, of course, the, you know, hell breaks loose and then it kind of becomes, you know, broken down and pipes broken and lights malfunctioning and that. So basically, you can, you can kind of get uh, double duty from a single level that way, which is kind of nice as a level designer. Destroy. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, thank goodness the Truger is uh, ordering these things around. Destroy him. But it cues us into something coming, so that's nice. Okay, what do we got? And that Petruger, man, I can't wait to face him eventually. Frag his butt for all this grief that he's causing us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I hear a whatchamacallit. Okay, um, hmm, well, I don't really want to waste any big ammunition on that guy. Oh, there he is, okay. Now, what do we want to shoot this guy with? Well, a grenade's always nice. So let's get a grenade fired up and give him one of those. Run away. Oh, the barrel's got him too. Oh, he got us with his rockets. Okay, and let's finish him off with a machine gun. With the machine gun. Okay, we'll hide. Okay, we're kind of doing this the chicken approach. Oh, there we finally got him. Okay, we kind of did the chicken approach. We ran away, but hey, it works, right? Okay, so. You know, the thing is in a playthrough, it's always nice to try to get through without dying a million times. So that's kind of the pressure. Okay, where are we going here? This green mist is, I guess, poison. This is not really affecting our health, other than the coughing effect, but... Thank goodness. Where are we going? Okay, are we are officially lost now? Okay, I know. I think we're going down here. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go down here. Ooh. Okay, run away, run away. Oh, there's the... Oh, just as I was saying, the pressure's on not to die, and then I die like 50 times. Okay, we're gonna hide. Okay, we got him, and then we just got the imp. Woo! Send him flying a million feet in the air. Okay, nice. Okay, we're not. Ah, we're doing okay on plasma. We haven't got a big glut of it, but we're okay. All right, and there was a health thing here, right? Yeah. Okay, we're good. All right, we're almost topped up. Ah, we're gonna go back into this room now. Okay, so now I'm d doing planning ahead a little bit in terms of the next uh, Doom editor. And you know, I'm so keen to do cinematics, but it's it's kind of a complicated subject. Um, I kind of messed around a little bit with the cameras and moving the cameras and scripting and all the rest of it. And I am seeing that it is a rather complicated subject. And the reason being, there's kind of kind of three sides to it, right? I just, just wait until I get my run back. Um, there's kind of three sides to it. Okay, just let me see what's going on here. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna try and get the guy with the barrel. He, he just, he ate all those barrels and nothing happened. Dang. He's not going to be able to eat my shotgun, though. Okay, so yeah, and the reason why cinematics are kind of complicated um, is that there's kind of three components to it, right? You got to do the planning. You can, you know, either write a script. Oh, jeez, what? 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 No. Check the six. So you kind of need a script. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You know, if you really want to get fancy, you could do, go as far as doing storyboards. That's a little bit overboard. Oh no, these guys and I'm out of bullets. Ooh, he's coming after me, the baby from hell. Okay, I just got caught a little flat-footed there. Okay, um, you know what? We're going to run back and we're going to grab some help. Okay, let's do that real quick. If I can remember where that was. Okay, there it is there. I don't know if any I have any left. Okay, no, I don't have any left. Okay, and I'm not gonna run all the way back there. All right, we're gonna have to be careful. Okay, so, cinematic. So, you got your script, your storyboards. You can do something as simple as just a shot list, too. But that's the first part about it. Okay, and we're gonna go back here, because we just got mauled. Okay. Ah, oh, boy. 
so hard to talk at the same time. Okay, well, we gotta go back here. Just stick with me here, guys. And actually, this will be fine because then I can talk about cinematics. Okay, so and then once you got your script, you gotta get your camera moving. You gotta figure that out. And then once you have your camera moving, then you actually have your characters that you have to start moving around. So there's a lot to it. So I think what I'm gonna do is the first video, we're gonna get our, our camera moving. I'm not gonna talk about scripting and storyboarding and all the rest of it. There's so many videos online. And you know, in this day and age of how popular movies are, everybody knows what storyboards are and what scripts are um, so the, I think the first part what we're gonna do is we're going to basically look at how to get the camera moving um, well how to position the camera first then we'll get it moving with scripts and movers and then I think what we're gonna do is get characters moving because they obviously need some subject matter um, and then the third one will probably make a little simple cinematic so I think those three parts will be coming up and I'll keep I'll keep the length of them down so they're not super long I think it's a little bit easier to follow along, uh, you know, if they're a little bit shorter. So I think that's going to be the next topic, guys. So if you're interested in cinematics and Doom 3, definitely check those out. Uh, that'll be posted after the clocks and ones. All right, so that'll be next week sometime. Oh, boy, well, how many babies can we possibly... Oh, jeez, they're still coming. They're just bullet sponges. Okay, we got about 20 of them. I think most people kind of play it this way. Kind of hang back a little bit. Okay, there we go. So let's save. Let's reload. Oh gosh, look at how scary this looks. Okay, this is nice though. This this fog sort of effect. Okay, nothing there. Oh, what do I think? Something bad's gonna happen here. Yep, something bad's gonna happen. Something opened up. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Did he come out of there? Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Thank you, Id. That was one of those uh, love moments. Certainly lots of hate moments. Okay, I've got some... Oh, you know what we can do? We can blow up those barrels and grab that uh, armor there. A little low on armor. I think 125 is the maximum, so let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, scary door. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, I hear an imp. Where is he? Oh, he's up there. Okay, he's up there. Okay, let him come down here. Okay, Mr. Imp. Need all painless. Boy, oh boy, kind of did a funky walk there. Okay, nice. Alright, so what do we got next here? Oh, I think I know what's coming up next here. Oh, look at this, another bloody imp. Okay. Oh, and we got a revenant up there. Yeah, okay, we gotta watch it. Okay, so what can I do? What can I do? Let's get my rocket launcher. Okay, I got him. Oh. We're doing okay on rockets, so you it usually takes only two hits uh, to get a revenant, but I guess it hit the stairs there. So okay, let's crack on. Okay, so kind of looking forward to that cinematic one. It's going to be an interesting one. Uh, they, usually, people are interested in cinematics. So and oh, what I did too is uh, when I started looking through some of my old maps. I mean, this goes back ten years when I was mapping. Uh, Back in Doom 3, um, I found some of the old cinematics that I had made, and and uh, they're actually not bad, you know, for 10 years ago. And there was a GUI. I took one of the um, I can't remember. I think it was a, a combination between the um, the credit GUI that's in the game and the opening sequence GUI to the game. And I kind of modded it a little bit and kind of got this really interesting kind of introduction part. And I'll see if I can show it in the video in that uh, cinematic tutorial, so we'll see. But uh, it's a, kind of a great way to introduce the game. Oh, okay, so this is kind of weird in here. Oh, no. Oh, you hear that? That's that's the Mancubus. Oh, jeez. Okay, looks like we're in for a boss fight. Okay, here's the thing. 
Long in a, f a few a few um, playthroughs ago, I mentioned that you can always jump up on stuff that's only one unit across. Now I'm assuming that Id wanted this to be uh, sort of a thing where you can't go back, but here's the problem: you actually can. Now I'm not sure why you'd want to, but I suspect. Oh, there's some ammo belt there that I missed. I suspect that they did not want you to go back, but they didn't design it properly because you can jump on that, right? Okay, so a little thing there. All right, so let's save. Okay, and we're gonna hit our first, our first mancubus here. Okay, and usually before you hit a boss, they usually give you top ups. So okay, so let me just have a quick look to see what I got for ammo. I'm well, not great on that. Uh, we're okay on that. Chain gun, machine gun, we're fine. Uh, tons of shotgun. Plasma, not so great. And we're not bad on on our uh, rocket. Oh, see. That's sort of a kind of a quasi Claxton. Claxon, sorry, not Claxton. Okay, let's save and let's face this thing. No. No. and he's got ugly whiskers and he's fat and all the rest of it. Okay, there's two of them actually. Gotta watch it. Oh, they're gonna... they're gonna bracket me here. Okay, so if you run around you can find stuff. Oh, like most boss fights. Okay, where is he? Where's that other one? I gotta keep my eye on him. Boom. Okay, now how many does it actually take? Okay, reload, reload. Oh, still didn't get him. Okay, he was like coming in on us there. Okay, where's this guy? Let's get some distance so we can dodge him. Okay, where is he? Let's get our chain on. And watch his rockets. They uh, do a lot of damage, you see? Like I just said. So whenever he launches his rocket, make sure you hide. As long as you get distance, it's not too bad. Okay, he's not even shooting us. Big and ugly and slow and oh geez what oh more of them oh he got us again okay we just about unloaded an entire thing on that guy gotta be more careful oh he takes a lot of bullets okay there he is okay what do we got what do we got what do we got some spawning in here. Okay, they're just cher just cherubs. And when you're low on health, now well, as long as you stand off, and they have a pretty quick animation, so you got to be careful. Their jumping attack is really fast. Oh man, those are very creepy. Okay, we basically got through that by the skin of our teeth. Now, let me just see if there's any health or anything. So that's the Mancubus. And they threw three at us, three at us. As if one's not enough. Okay, so there we are. But he's pretty slow. He just has that... Well, he probably has a melee attack. I, I never like getting close to the creatures. So, okay, I guess that's it. I kind of like that mist effect. Oh, that's too bad you can't jump in here. Oh, you can. Should be like a health in there or something. Okay, I don't think there's any more goodies around here, and I'm out of runs. So let me just get my run back. Let me get my mojo back, my run back. Okay, so now that we uh, learned how to do particles in the editor, this kind of stuff like this smoke and this stuff coming out of the pipe and all that, just put in a funk emitter and attach a particle. You can preview the particle in the particle window, and you can add all these sorts of things. So. Um, but I think that this fog effect is actually a light texture. It's not really an emitter, so... Okay, we gotta be careful here. Yeah, we're very low on health. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, two of them, two of them, two of them. Okay, we got him. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna save here. Now, we desperately need health, so please, please, it, give me some health here. Oh, thank you. Which, you know... Is understandable after a boss fight. They should always give you uh, health after a boss fight. So if you're a level designer, take mercy. And you know what? 
We're gonna give these guys that. I have no patience for these little babies from hell. Okay, there we go. Let's save. Um, now, just in case I didn't get them both. Did I? Did I get them both? Okay, looks good. Alright, let me get the shotgun. Let's call this lift. And let's crack on. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh oh Okay, you gotta hit these uh, panels here. One, two, and three. Oh, this is four? Okay, there we go. We're good. Oh, 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 oh. oh I can't believe he got us. Okay. Okay, we got an egress here. Okay, we're not gonna fool around with this guy because we're just about dead. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, we got a med kit too, just in time. Wow, we could go back. Oh, we can't call that elevator? Yeah, no, we can't. Oh, see, that's a one-way ticket. Okay, well, can't go back for that health, but we're okay. We got a little bit of health there. All right, whoa. Okay, as I was gonna say, before I went into panic mode there, you just have to hit these panels. There's three of them. One, two, three. First time I ran through there, talk about confusion, but uh, that's kind of how you get through that. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, we're good. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I tried to shoot the bullet, but I couldn't get it. Okay, let's hide around this corner. Oh, I'm out. Okay, we got him. Oh. Okay, we're good. How many more of those things are we gonna have to face? Okay, so, uh, now kind of on editor matters, I did indicate in one of my past videos that I do want to start working in the Unreal Editor. So I've been looking at that, and uh, what an amazing piece of technology. If you can get over the, um, the learning curve, um, it, it's just so powerful, so amazing. Um, you know, there's just some things in Doom 3 you can't do without coding skills, but in Unreal, again, if you can get uh, past the learning curve, um, you can do just about anything. Okay, so it does look like another bad guy in town, that Protruger is like spawning these evil things, so uh, yeah. Now, the trick to that guy, he's sort of a tentacle guy, and I remember that actually does go back to... Oh, jeez, they're crying. Uh, there was a character in Quake 2 that kind of had a tentacle, I don't remember what it was called. But that guy sort of flings a tentacle out at you. And all you gotta do is crouch to miss the tentacle. Now he still has a melee attack. He can kick you, I think, is the melee attack. But as long as you duck. Okay, this is very cool. Center. I really like this Next part. Stop, site two. Now, okay, it's a little dated and... Oh, what, what? Oh, okay, this guy, this character, he doesn't do anything. I was waiting here on the train for my Jeez, he looks just like that dude that we encountered early on. This is his twin or something. Yeah, I don't know what's going on either, man. To do with those artifacts we were digging up at site two. I bet they're somehow connected with those things in the Delta complex. Okay, so he does give you a little bit of backstory, but uh, other than that, he's pretty useless. All right, so yeah, what I was gonna say was I really love these outdoor parts. But, you know, it is looking dated. Like, if you look over there, there's some, well, you can't really see it, but there's some buildings, there's a mountain, and they're pretty rough. But don't forget, too, we're also, uh, you know, playing a game from 2004 on 2019 technology, so... And also, like, don't forget, it was never designed to be played on, was it, nine, uh, 1920 by 1080 or whatever the setting is, so... So, you know, it's gonna look a little dated, so... Okay, so give me my gun. Uh oh. Uh oh. I heard a radio guy. Oh. 
Okay, there's Tentacle Man. See, as long as you duck... As long as you duck, the tentacle goes over, so it's not so bad. Okay, um... Let's give that guy a grenade. Alright, I gotta reload here. Okay, yeah, so the Unreal uh, Editor, I've been looking at it, been familiarizing myself with it. It's been a long time since I've worked in it. Uh-oh. Oh, no spider things. Check our six, and there we go, of course. Okay, we're, we're constantly gonna check our six now. Okay, I like to talk about the Unreal Editor, but it, the action's getting hairy. Destroy oh, oh, oh. Okay, we got a bunch of z -techs here now. Okay, where are they? Uh oh. Okay, I'm stuck and I'm out of ammo. Okay, what's going on? Okay, this is getting a little hairy. Hard to talk at the same time, so just give me a second here. What was that guy? Did I get him? Who's up there? Oh, I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. Oh, 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 oh. Hide, hide. Okay, now I, I do have a habit of crouching in this game, and that goes back to actually Battlefield, because you're... Shooting is more accurate when you uh, kneel, right? I don't think it, I don't think it's uh, applies to Doom Three, but okay, here we go, shotgun guy. Guy gives a lot of damage, so you got to be careful. So I don't know how he just shot around that box, but okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. Now, do I go down here? Oh, there's a PDA. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna check that PDA just to see if there's something coming up. Oh, I got a lot of them here. Uh oh. I hear a guy. I hear a guy. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Oh, oh, it's a Z-Tech. It's a Z-Tech. There's a machine gun guy. Gotta be careful because the game does not come to a stop when you're in PDAs, so it's kind of a weird mechanic. Most of the games, they do stop. Oh, he's gonna hide behind that door just so he can shoot me as soon as I open the door. Okay, we'll eat that. Okay, nice. Okay. I want to talk about the Unreal Editor, but every time I get thinking about something, I gotta, I gotta play the game. It's hard to, it's really hard to talk and, and play the game. I have to say. So, okay, this door is just wreaking havoc with this. Okay, we're good. Oh, how many more guys? Jeez, four or five of them, plus an imp. Okay, we were gonna check that uh, PDA, right? Yeah, well, let's get caught up on our PDAs real quick. I don't think anything's gonna, anything's gonna come get us. Okay, I don't, I'm not gonna listen to audio logs right now. Oh, 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 okay, what is this? Nothing there. Okay, we checked that one already. Anything here? Toxic waste storage. Okay, there's nothing there. Scott Johnson. Okay, there's a code here. Actually, I think I already opened that. Yeah, I already opened that. Okay, so, and then Gary Ross. Does he have anything good? Airlock request. Okay, there is another one here. So let me, I'm just going to remember that one. No audio logs there. No audio logs there. Okay, so we're good. We're all caught up. All right, let's get out of here. Let's save. Let's get into something a little more powerful. Well, I guess the machine gun will do. Okay, we got lots of ammo. Oh, another health. Grab that. Okay, so far so a lot of barrels. That makes me nervous. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there he is there. Oh no, another one of those uh, tentacle guys. Where is he? Whoa! So as long as you crouch, he can't get you with the tentacle, so you're okay. I don't know who comes up with this stuff. Tentacle man. God. Okay. Kinda be fun being a game designer. Okay, you gotta come up with the characters. Okay, what about like a tentacle guy? Oh, I got him with the barrel. Nice. Unfortunately, no extra points for that. Ooh, another one, what? 
Oh jeez. It's endless. Can't even talk about the Unreal Editor. Okay. Okay, I'll try to get in some some talk on the Unreal Editor if I ever get a break. Where was that guy? Okay, okay. Ooh, okay there he is there. Let's see if we can't tease around that corner. Okay, he's gonna he's static. Okay, I heard an imp spawn in too. Where did he come in? Okay, let's see if we can't get him right by that barrel. There he goes. Oh, another one. Where? 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 Oh, up there. Oh, another one too. Okay, we got him all over the place. Okay, let's see if we can't get him by that barrel. No, he's not going by that barrel. Okay, just watch out for the jumping attack. Okay, we're good. Thank goodness for the machine gun and the endless stream of ammo. Now, we can't compl get complacent because we will eventually run out of ammunition, so we got to be careful here. All right, what do we got? There's got to be some goodies around. Oh, 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 more rocket launcher. Nice. Okay. No, that's nothing. Okay, I'm kind of nervous when I have the flashlight on because you can't shoot and can't bear, you can't have a gun queued up while you have a flashlight, right? Oh, there's another health back there. Okay, I'm gonna remember that because I'm gonna need it, but I'm I'm totally topped up, so I'm good. Okay, there we go. All right, well, I guess we go up here. Oh. I think I heard another one. Yes, I did. Okay, let's, well, we can go here. Can I get him with a grenade? Yep. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's a tentacle. That's a tentacle. Was it a tentacle? Yep. Okay, let's go with shotgun. Oh, nice. Shotgun does a good job as long as the guy's nice and close. Oh, there's another tentacle. Oh, shot him. Please. See, he got him with his kick attack. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, this guy might just kill me. Yeah, that was a that was a that was a, a disaster. Okay, I don't know what happened there. He was sort of striking me with a tentacle in between my shotgun shots. So, okay, there's a health there. Why can't I get that health? Where's that health? Come on, give me. All right. Oh, a little bit of bumbling with the tentacle guy. Usually he's pretty easy, but uh, I don't know what happened there. Okay. Boy, I'm almost scared to talk about Unreal because as soon as I start talking about it, monsters are gonna spawn. Okay. But anyways, uh, what I love about Unreal, if you can get past the learning curve, is you can pretty much modify anything in the game. It's easy to add a... Oh, what is this? What? Oh, here's spiders. Okay, this is kind of like a spider parade, so this is probably not a terrible time to talk about Unreal, but okay. And you can control just about anything, and there's so many assets out there. I just found um, uh, some software, now I don't off the top of my head, I can't remember uh, what it's called, but there's all these characters that you can import, it's owned by Adobe, I'll, 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 I'll um, pick up the name in the next video, I'll share it with you guys, maybe even a link in there, I'll link it in the description below, but it's all these models and characters that you can easily import into Unreal. And uh, it, I, I do believe there's a subscription fee for it, but you know, in terms of... Um, you know, actually building this stuff, um, you really can't beat it. Okay, let me just, uh, I gotta play the game here for a second here. Okay, so we've got a code here that we need, and we've got a um, cabinet code we need. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so airlock request A26. I don't think I'm gonna open up that airlock quite yet, because something terrible is probably gonna happen if I do that. Now, let me just see if I've got a code for this cabinet. Cabinet 054142. 054? Yep. Okay, so 142. We can open this up. Oh, nice. Look at this. We got a crap ton of. Oh, thank you. Of rockets. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. Okay, so let's reload. And then the code for this was what? 826, I think it was. Pretty sure 826. Where is it? Yeah, 826. Okay, so 826. Okay, that's gonna open something. And I think now we get a spider parade, so let's just go ahead and 
start shooting these things. And this is actually kind of fun. You just sit back and plink away at spiders until, of course, a tentacle comes up behind you, but it uh, should be okay. All right, so we'll plink away at this. Now, uh, yeah, and in addition, you know, say, like, for instance, you want to change the UI in a game. In Unreal, it's, it's, oh, I'm not going to say it's easy, because, again, it's got a bit of a learning curve. That Kismet sort of, uh, kind of icon-based drag and click and connect the boxes that replaces code. Um, it's so powerful that you can easily practically do anything in the game and um, just totally program it. You don't even have to be a C, C++ programmer. It's absolutely fantastic. But again, it's got a bit of a learning curve. Uh, so you do have to, you know, take your time, learn it, lots of experimenting, many, many hours. But once you get the hang of it, I'll tell you, you can, you can build a game right on your desktop and um you know actually publish it and the way okay don't take this um for gospel but the way their pay scheme works is that you don't actually pay anything until you actually uh, earn money so it's actually it's just amazing I'm, I'm very very blown away by that engine so i think after doom 3 editor we're going to definitely delve into that and do a few videos so hopefully you guys will follow along with that and that'll be nice so okay let's get back to the game what do we got now there's some armor up there can i how do i jump up there i guess what you could do is push a barrel and be careful that you don't fire by accident and blow yourself up now okay i don't really need that that ammo but i guess or that uh that um, armor but if you really had to you could do it that way okay there it is all right what do we got okay are we going back out again i guess so so we were up there. Oh, why do I think something terrible is going to happen here? Okay, I'm ducking down. Okay, it looks like those guys ate that guy. Oh, that's sad. Okay, we just giblets left. Oh. And you know what I was going to say, too, is that character... He looks like actually a buddy of mine. And, uh, Kevin, I know you're not watching, but in case you're watching... I swear, that character is your twin. And uh, that's kind of why I never shot that guy, because, uh, you know, he looks too much like my buddy Kevin. All right, so there it is. All right, so let's go. Ooh, look how fast this thing's going. Holy cow. And, of course, we know how to do this, right? Attach a mover. Whoa, whoa what's going on? Oh, gosh. Engineering, please report to Delta Complex Access Ramp. Track sensor failure detected. You know, there was just a, a horrifying train crash, and this lady is, hey, oh, it's just malfunction. She's all happy. Okay, let's go up here. Let's get a machine gun firing up. Uh oh, tentacle guy. Okay, I assume I'm safe while I'm down here. Okay, there he goes. Piece of cake. Okay, so now, if I remember this correctly, this is actually pretty hairy in here. Yep. Yep. This is, this is hairy, actually. So I'm going to kind of do this methodically here. Because I know that these things are going to come up behind. Oh, there they are. Yep. Yep. Okay, let me out of here. Heavy creep factor on these things. The skin is crawling up my back at the moment. Okay, so let's reload. Yeah, this is kind of hairy in here. Oh, 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 I think we're okay. All right. Yeah, it's, it's hairy in here. As soon as I hit a trigger, I know something's going to get us. Yep, there they go. Check the six. There's another one. There's another one. Another one. Yep, see? Uh, if you just charge in there, I'm telling you, those things will just swarm on you, so you have to be careful here. Okay. Ugh. So, so wherever you see that, you know there's trouble from those spider things. Okay, let's get this. Let's crouch in case we get tentacle man. Yep, there he is there. Running around like a putz. Die! 
Okay, come on in. Okay, missed the tentacle. One more shot. So again, this this kind of rhythm with the shotgun, right? It takes a little bit of time to reload, and if that guy gets up on you, what do we got? Is that another tentacle? And he does have a jump attack. Okay, there we go. Whoa! Not another one. Three of them in a row. Three tentacles in a row. As long as you got the rhythm, you're okay. All right, there he is. Three up, three down. Die tentacles. Okay. Let's is there anything good down here? I'll be a hell night hiding down here and I'll get like three shards out of the deal, right? Oh, okay, that was definitely worth it coming down here. All right, good. For once, okay. And it got the texture right there, nice. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what else can we talk about? Um, so, okay, I still haven't been able to do my live, my, my very first live action video. I'm still waiting for that model to come. It's taking its sweet time. It uh, obviously must be coming from overseas. Um, and FedEx really cheesed me off, okay? Um, you know, I get this card in the mail saying, okay, the FedEx thing is waiting at the airport, so that's fine. And it gives you a telephone number to call. And it's this sort of creepy uh, electronic thing that you talk to. Now, I don't think it's AI. It's probably just a voice recognition thing. And personally, I hate talking to that. When a company doesn't care enough about me to have a human being on the telephone to answer questions, I really don't appreciate that much. And I find those automated uh, telephone answering things creepy. Like, it'll say, you know, what do you want to do? One, do this. Two, do that. If you don't say anything, it'll say, you know, I haven't heard anything. It's just, it's creepy. Okay, I hate it. I don't like it at all. And the beef with FedEx is that it, this thing gives you all kinds of options except the one I want is talk to a human being. Because basically all I wanted to do was FedEx to deliver the package from the airport to my house. So there's no way to do that apparently. So FedEx will ship anything around the world except they cannot get a package from the airport to my house. So it's just bizarre. So I'm not very happy I gotta go all the way out to the airport to get my little package. And I'm not very happy about that. Okay, did we get them both? No, we didn't. Oh, come on, how many times do I have to get that guy? Okay, so... Now, what I should do is I should really get that package. What I was thinking about doing was maybe waiting until the model came and then I can kind of get everything at once and then I'm ready to go. But if I get that boom arm, then I can finally put my microphone on it and when I'm making editor videos, I won't have a big microphone stand between me and the keyboard. Because if you do follow along my editor videos, you notice that I bumble a lot on the keyboard. And I'm actually not too bad on a keyboard, but again, when you got a big microphone stand between you, or sorry, a big, yeah, a little, desk microphone stand between you and uh, the keyboard, I have to reach around it, and if I don't put my fingers on the keyboard properly, then it just, you know, everything gets all flubbed up, right? But if I use that boom stand, I can get my, um, my microphone it's off the desk, me. right? What is that? Okay, it's just an amp, and I'm gonna definitely check my six always. Is there another one? Uh oh Yeah, see? It wasn't my six. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're good. Let's reload. And I'm really looking forward to that live video stuff. You know, like I said, I, I really enjoy building model kits. Um, they do seem to be popular, the videos on, on YouTube. So I think it's going to be kind of fun and, and, and interesting. And hopefully we'll get more subscribers and more people watching and all the rest of it. So, see, as long as you crouch when Tentacle Man does his thing, you're okay. He won't get you with a tentacle. But if he gets right up to you, he's got a kick attack, which is actually... Well, it doesn't cause tons of damage, but enough damage. Okay, so what do we got? Alright, so let's save. Uh-oh. Warning. Automated turret guns okay, online. Okay, tentacle man again. Okay, there he goes. Okay, this is kind of a weird level. You gotta run in here. Now, Warning. Oh, look at automated this. turret guns online. Okay, well, look at the turret guns, uh, you know, wreak havoc on the imp there and the zombies. Very cool. Get um. Warning, automated oh, turret guns online. Oh, he snuck up on us. Not cool. Okay, can we 
we open this? Okay, we got got that open. Oh, should we Warning: open? Automated turret okay, guns I, online. And I, I do think we have. I do think we have the PDA for this. Where is it? Warning: Automated turret guns online. Okay, she is really loud. Okay, what's going on? Extra medical supplies. Okay, three, six, four, both cabinets. Okay, so three, six, four. Warning, automated turret guns online. Yes, I heard you the first four times. Now she made me forget the number. Three, six, four. Okay, there we go. Oh, lots of goodies Warning, for Mr. automated Marine. turret guns online. Okay, so we gotta disable these turret guns, otherwise they'll kill us. So let's do that. I guess we just press that. Freaking chairs in the way. I, I can't Warning. get at that because that's Automated chairs in turret the way. guns online. Okay. Attention. Yeah. Automated turret guns offline. Okay, thank you. Boy, she is loud. Okay, is there anything here good? Aren't you gonna talk to me anymore? Aren't you gonna ask me how my day was? How did I posted any editor videos? No, she's just gonna tell me about the turret guns. So. Okay, there we go. Oh, I think we got a new level here, guys. Yes, we do. All right, new level. Exit the monorail. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so what I was saying was that I, I'm really looking forward to uh, making some of those model videos. Now, of course, the pressure's going to be on because now you have to actually build the models. And, you know, people want to see complicated models. And, you know, depending on how much time you have... Oh, 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 oh. I mean, if you work at a model full-time and really depending on how much you want to detail it and paint it and everything else, I would say probably, ooh, I don't know, five to seven days depending on the model of full-time work at it would finish it. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge because uh, obviously, you know, I like to post videos once a week. Seems to be a pretty good routine. And to actually shoot the video, build the model, paint it, weather it, do everything else. Oh, there's a PDA. Oh. Here, an amp. And get that all out and get that all out in one week is gonna be a bit of a challenge. So I'm gonna to have to Oh the flying body. Oh gosh, that's so bad. Oh the flying body! Oh okay, well. So it's gonna be a bit of a challenge trying to get those out once a week, but I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be fun. Okay, we've got a health there, which is nice. I hear one of those tentacle things. There he is where Here's feet. Doi! Okay, he's around here somewhere. I'm gonna keep crouched down. In case he springs out at us. Emergency power only. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, I really like this level. I don't know what it does, but it looks cool. And I know somebody's gonna say, why don't you build this thing in the editor? Um. Systems down. I guess I could, but I don't really know what it what it does. I think it wants telling us the system is down, so okay. It's kind of a neat level though. This is bizarre, I never understood this. Like what is this? It's just a little, like a little side room. I mean they should put a desk in here or something to make it look a bit more natural. But uh, I like this machinery is kind of cool. Emergency power. Okay, let's get our weapon fired up. Let's save and let's crack on. What? Oh, oh gosh. Okay, that was just a scare because we can't get through that door, I guess. So I've got to go here. All right. Oh, gosh. Somebody's walking around. Okay, I hear a growling which signals a pinky demon. Okay, what do we got here? It's gonna give us some help here with a pipe or something to jump up here. Yep, okay, there we go. Okay. I'm here an imp. Emergency power only. All Delta operations suspended. All Delta operations suspended. Can we get in here? Nope. Okay, we got all red doors all over the place. Gee, I wonder where we have to go. The one spot uh, that's open to us. And it is freaking dark. Okay, I'm gonna duck down in case. Oh, look, our spooky hallway effect again. Nice. 
I'll tell you one really cool thing about the editor is that as we learn these different things and how they're made, slowly but surely, we're heading through the game and we're kind of seeing things that we know how to build, which is nice, you know, like Klaxon, we know how to build that, we know how to build a scary hallway, we know particles now, we know these lifts. And that was kind of my goal always with trying to learn the editor, was when I first played, oh, look at that, very cool. When I first played Doom 3, I thought, wow, what an amazing game. I would love to do that one day. And slowly but surely, learned the editor. And um, for those of you wondering, I actually did work as a professional level designer for a, a year. Um, I don't like talking about it too much because, I don't know, it just sounds sort of braggadocious or whatever. But it was one year. Um, I worked in Vancouver. I don't think at this time I'm going to oh, look at that new inventory item. Okay, I think we can go back to that control room thing. Oh, what? Okay, he's just up there. He's not going to hurt us. Okay, so we came out of here. That's going to surprise us, right? By spawning something in our face. Okay, there we go. Now, I think we have the control panel for this thing. Uh, we do. Okay. So, and I worked as a level designer for about a year, and I absolutely hated it. Um, why? Because the hours were ridiculous. Um, I kind of built a few mods back in the day, and they had a lot of downloads. I mean, I think one of them was downloaded like a million times. Um, and I wish I could have monetized it because I could have retired. But anyways, that aside, and it got written up in a, in a, I think it was a German gaming magazine. And before I knew it, I was getting offers from various gaming companies. And I had an offer. What's... Okay, okay there's a video link of requested here. I gotta do that. Okay, well, how do we do that? Here? Okay, there we go. This is Kelly. Morning. Have you watched this, sir? Top of my thought. Please follow the procedure. These things what they seem. Plans have changed. Delta Complex 1 has been compromised. You're not safe there. I'm moving to Secure Service Tunnel 1. It's not far from your position. We'll meet there. Sums up with him. I don't know. He doesn't really look like himself or sound like himself. Okay, so as I was saying, yeah, and I didn't did not like the experience, and the reason being was that, you know, I had a few offers from gaming companies, there was one in Russia of all places, there was another one in Germany, um, and there was one in Vancouver, so I decided to go with Vancouver. Oh man, all these doors are open now. Which way to go? Uh, anyway, so I ended up uh, accepting the offer out of Vancouver. Uh, just because, um, you know, I was in Canada, I spoke the language, oh no, pinky, 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 can we go down here and hide? Okay, it doesn't look like he can get us when we're down here, so thank goodness I was trapped. Well, I could have run through those doors, I guess. So I took the offer, but I was very explicit when I took the offer. I kind of knew that a lot of these gaming companies really push their designers hard. And I understand that around shipping time when the deadlines get close and all the rest of it. But, you know, I didn't really want to work for a company where I was working seven days a week, you know, 16 hour days. And that's what I said to these guys uh, before I took the job. I said, look, I mean, I don't want to work in a sweatshop. And I kept getting assurances, no, no, it's not like that, it's not like that. And to be fair, it wasn't really the, the the corporation management that was like that, and I'll explain that in a second. But anyways, um, so I didn't like it because it ended up being seven days a week, 16 hours a day, and it was odd because people would ask me when I got back from Vancouver, oh, what you think of Vancouver? And I said, I don't know. I never got a chance to get out. I think there was two weekends that I took off and where I kind of just walked around and enjoyed the sights and the people, and that was it, and a whole year. And uh, so I didn't like it that way. And again, management didn't say, hey, you got to work, you know, uh, 16 hours a day. What would happen is, you know, 5 o'clock would roll around and you'd be packing up your stuff and you'd kind of get these looks from your coworkers, like, you know, why are you going home, right? So there, it was more peer pressure. Um, and don't get me wrong, I mean, at first it was great because it was new and I loved level design and everything else, but it became a real grind after a while and uh, really took the fun out of it. So I did not actually like it. Um, I liked some of the games we worked on. Uh, maybe one day I'll tell you guys what they are, but not today. Um, but I wasn't nuts about some of the games we were working on either. And I was kind of getting shuffled from game to game and it was a little stressful and all the rest of it. So all in all, it wasn't a great experience. Um, it was later looking for people and I just decided that that was probably enough. I had way more fun uh, doing it sort of as a hobby than I did as a profession. So, 
And I haven't, I hadn't had a, you know, big art background. Ooh, what? Uh, you know, nowadays you really need to have an art background. I'm not much of an artist. I'm more of a mechanics kind of guy. Um, you know, I consider myself a good level designer, but in terms of, you know, texturing and things of this nature, you know, my artistic ability is pretty much limited to model building. Um, you know, where I do paint things and, but, uh, you know, that's about it. So I'm more of a mechanics guy. I can build interesting levels, but in terms of, you know, artwork and that, that's just really not my thing at all. Okay, we got a pinky here, and we can just take him out with a chain gun. Thank you. Yeah, I'm kind of getting a little bit better at talking and playing at the same time. It's definitely an art form. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, and I think we got about five more minutes here at gameplay, guys, and then we got to wrap it up. So what? Okay, tentacle guy, where is he? Okay, we smoked him pretty easily. Whoa! Once you know that uh, that crouch trick, he's really not a big deal. Uh, once in a while, you might get hung up and you know, kind of messed up or whatever. But in all in all, it's not too bad. Okay, where are we? Now I have to say, I have no idea where I am. Um, where? Right up there. Okay, thank goodness you can shoot him when he's doing his animation. Okay, you, you're gonna get the chainsaw. Okay, that's just, that's just gratifying. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right, not doing great on ammo for that. I should really be concentrating more on shotguns, so. Yeah, so, I mean, don't let, don't let me discourage you. Look, if your aspirations are to be a level designer or a game designer or something like that, hey, go for it, you know? Maybe things are changing. Uh, maybe the pressure isn't on anymore. I don't have any problem putting in long days around shipping time, but as a matter of every single day, you know, maybe I'm getting older or whatever, but I just found it to be a grind, so it, it really wasn't for me. Okay, so let's crack on here. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, okay, we're kind of back to where we were, I think, before. Okay, I don't want to go here. I want to backtrack a little bit because it was so many different directions to go here. Now, some people like that sort of choice. I find if you're given three or four choices, uh, it's a little disconcerting because you always wonder, hey, did I miss something? You know, is this the right way to go? Everything. Um, or make it such that it's logical that you can kind of, uh, you know, retrace steps and, you know, do things of this nature. So, okay, I was in there already. A bunch of doors open for us. I don't think it was back here, or was it? Okay, I'm just checking. Okay, those doors are all still closed, so it looks like we have to crack on. And uh, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but this is actually a nice level. I like that a lot, actually. And I've got a. I'm probably gonna have to end up borrowing some hallways from it to do our cinematics because um, it, it would be a lot of work to create, you know, long environments for our cinematics. So just a heads up. Okay, and I am. I am out of runs. So let me just kind of creep forward here and get my run back. Oh gosh, this is so gross. Ugh. And if you guys are wondering, those are just the cows, right? So you just put the cows on, and I'm sure if you look around, you find something blood or splat or something like that. There's actually, too, an entity in the Doom 3 editor game. It's called a Funk Splat, and I'm assuming it shoots splat stuff all over the walls. I haven't tried it, but that's what I'm assuming it is. Okay, so we've been here. We looked around. That's where that tentacle guy jumped out at us. Okay, so where are those doors? Just want to make sure there aren't any doors back here. I remember seeing a bunch of doors. Okay, there's one there. Let's go through here. Okay, we're in here. Oh, I like that too. Very cool. Okay, there we go. Okay, looks like we're going to be coming out of here. All right, I'm going to get this thing fired up. And we are golden on our plasma. Uh -oh. oh, right behind us. How cheap. Okay, how cheap. Warning. Okay, that was kind of cheap. That was just kind of cheap. I mean, I don't have much chance when it comes up right behind you, like that guy. Okay, there's another one. Oh, and another one. Is that it? No, I can still hear him. 
Okay, we can't get them with the barrels, unfortunately. Okay, pretty simple. Okay, let's see if we can't jump back up here again. Okay, can't go there. Oh, look at that. Okay, now, it obviously did not want... Oh, yeah, they did. They put a pipe there. Okay, that's fine. They didn't mess that up. Okay, I'm just going to run back to see if I can grab a health. 55 is not great. Thought I had one back here somewhere, which I probably don't. That's armor. Yeah, I could use a little bit of armor. Okay, let's crack on. Let's crack on. We got a few more minutes here, so let's see what maladventures we can get into here in the last few minutes. We didn't die this time. I shouldn't say that because I know what's going to happen then. Oh, there's a health. Okay, nice. Okay, that's nice. All right, a couple of barrels. Watch those things. Anything here in the corner? Nope. Oh. Oh. Is that an adrenaline? Yep. Yeah, and adrenaline just means we could run uh, for, well, I'm going to say forever, but as long as the adrenaline lasts or the run bar doesn't go down. Okay, Betruger, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Okay, we'll go back. Okay, I tried to shoot the rocket, but that didn't work out very well. Okay, well, I don't know what you're laughing at, Betruger. I just took out your boy there. Okay. Okay, where do we go? Go here? Oh, air is sealed. Okay, there's some bullets up there. How do we get them, though? Gotta look for something physics and push it over there. Okay, I guess we can push this thing over there. Oh, too far. Okay, now we should be able to jump, 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 grab a health. Oh, look at that. Beautiful score. Now, what about that? Do we go in there? No. Okay, so we don't go in there. Oh, it's telling us. Yeah, it's calling us right there. Okay, nice. Okay, that was good. That was good level design. Showed us where to go. Okay, here one of those jellyfish brain things. It's not funny! Got a sick, demented person laughs! Okay, we're good. Okay, here one of them brain things. It's floating around there somewhere. Oh. Uh oh. 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 Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, I see him. I see him. He's there in the corner. I wonder if I could maybe get him with a grenade. Oh, yeah. There he goes. He's, 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 he's woke now. Now, I was going to ask, I was going to say, I, I, I bet he can't shoot in here, but yes, he can. Okay. Okay, well, you know what? We managed to survive during this whole level. Um, I think something horrific is going to come through that door, so I think this is probably a good place to end it now. So I just want to thank everybody for joining me as usual. Uh, we got a few more coming up. I think we're we're past the, the midway point, definitely. So we're turning a corner. Um, I'm thinking at least three more editor episodes coming up and a few more of these, probably three or four more of these at least. So, all right. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, leave me a comment below or a like, dislike is always nice. Uh, click the notification button if you want to be alerted to new videos. Uh, or mostly on down to the channel, Tom's World, for a complete list of all the videos. If you have any questions for the Doom 3 editor, as always, my email is always at the bottom of the video, so feel free to email me. Uh, if Even if it's just to say hi, that would be a nice thing, too. I've made a few new friends, and it's really nice meeting people from all over the world. So we're going to leave it at that. And as always, uh, you stay well, and um, all the best.